Middlesex's batsmen were the latest to enjoy themselves against the Northamptonshire bowlers as the home side at Lords made a very encouraging start to their latest LV County Championship match, an important one for both sides. Stephen Peters inserted on winning the toss, but it was a decision that backfired as Chris Rogers immediately looked good against one of his former counties. With Sam Robson rested by England, Nick Gubbins made his championship debut at the top of the order and he showed some early nerves as he called Rogers through for a single to get off the mark and was fortunate not to run his captain out. An immediate apology was followed by some excellent shots. Middlesex have shown in the T20 tournament that they have some very talented youngsters coming through their ranks in the likes of Ryan Higgins and Harry Podmore and Gubbins, a 20-year-old from Radley College where Andrew Strauss also went, was given his chance in the four-day game and also looked very promising. Like many young batsmen these days, he doesn't lack confidence as seen from the way he whipped this ball from Morris Chambers for a six. It was some shot. Having someone of Rogers' calibre at the other end can only help. The Australian has been in excellent form for much of this summer and that form was in emphasis here given some of the shots he played as he and his partner got their side off to an ideal start, batting all the way through the morning session. Before lunch was taken, Rogers had completed his sixth 50 of the summer, three of which he'd converted into hundreds. This one was reached with an easy four off James Middlebrook a shot which gave Rogers his 8th boundary of his 89th delivery. Shortly after the break, Gubbins was also raising his bat for the first time. It was a fine knock this, one which had used up 105 balls from which 5 fours and that 1 6 had been hit. This was a moment that the left-hander will remember for some time. He took his partnership with Rogers on to 128 in 38 overs and Northamptonshire, who've been hit for more than 600 runs in an innings in each of their last two matches, must have been fearing the worst. But the stand was ended by Azarulla as Gubbins on 54 went to attack the bowler only to hold out to Chambers. Gubbins can still be very pleased with the way he batted. The visitors, obviously low on confidence after losing their last seven LV County Championship matches, bowled too many loose balls, allowing Rogers to play the occasional outrageous shot. This one carried the distance. Rogers looked set for a fourth hundred of the summer until on 86 he was bowled by Stephen Crook. A nice moment for the former Middlesex all-rounder, whose opportunities at Lords were limited in the four-day game. That brought Darwin Milan and Owen Morgan together with a total on 168 for two and they continued the good work of the opening batsman. The pitch had not really offered the visitors the kind of assistance that their captain had been hoping for even after the morning sunshine had turned to cloud. These new pair of left-handers started to make more steady progress with yet more boundaries. Just before rain took the players off with a total on 229 for two, Milan on 32 should have been out, only for him to be put down at slip by Richard Keogh off Andrew Hall. The players returned to the middle at 20 to 6 and Morgan then chopped a ball from Hall back onto his stumps to go for 27, the total on 230 for 3. Milan though made the most of his life by getting to a 50 for the third time this summer. His other two have ended in the 90s so he'll be hoping to go one step further on the second day of this match. This half century had occupied 75 balls from which 9 fours have been struck by the 26 year old. By the end of the day, he'd passed 500 runs for the championship summer and had moved to within 28 runs of that elusive 100. He may not have a better chance all season against this attack on a pitch which didn't offer them much at all. Neil Dexter stuck with him to the close. 16 overs were lost in the day, one which ended with Middlesex handily placed on 280 for three. They will want to bat only once in this match and will therefore look to bat for some time to come on the second day.